Hi guys, I'm Dr. Zaina Bora, your educator on the Unacademy platform and I'm here today to talk to you about Grand Desk and something exciting that Unacademy has in store for you guys. So this is what is planned. So there is a series of free Grand Desks which are for everyone, which are open for all. There is no uh, plus subscription which is required to give them. So there are a series of 10 tests which have been planned for you from 7th of August to 9th of September. Right, so this gives you ample practice before your NEET PG on 11th of September and the timing basically is going to be 9 a.m. to 12.30 which is exactly the time when you're going to be writing your NEET PG exam. Right, so why this is going to be very very helpful to you is one, it helps you get into that exam zone and that is so very important. So the very first um, message that I want to give all the aspirants uh, is when you give a grand test all right give it your all give it your hundred percent do not just give it for the sake of it a lot of us do that we rush through the exam just to see the questions that doesn't have to be your approach you know that is a completely wrong mindset to have the most important takeaway of any grand test you know these are the focus areas so let's take them one by one the main takeaway i feel is the time management part of things and to get into that groove, to get into that mind frame such that on the exam day, it doesn't feel like the exam. It feels like the 10 or test that you've given before it, right? So it is something which is very, very important to have sorted. If time management is sorted, half your battle, you know, is one because it accounts for a lot of panic. If you're not under control with your time management, it takes uh, a lot of uh, mental pressure and it does create a lot of mental stress which will distract you from the question, will distract you from using your mind completely into the questions that will be required. So one is time management, second is keeping that stress uh, under control, keeping that calm. I know nothing will simulate the exam day directly, perfectly, 100%, but the more tests you give, the more uh, acclimatized you will get to that particular exam day pressure. Alright, so time management is something that you have to master. So as we know, we have three and a half hours, we have basically 210 minutes that you have to attempt 200 questions. So how I want you to plan in an ideal case scenario and then we have a buffer is 1, 1, 1. So 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours and then you have half an hour as buffer time to review the questions. Alright. So in the one hour, your target should be 70 questions and don't just look at it at 60 minutes. You know, I want you to check every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes that, okay, I have done 35 questions. I've done at least 30 questions in the first 30 minutes, right? So basically this has to be a constant checking that you have to maintain. So remember the 70, 70, 60 rule is the ideal case scenario and it does have some amount of buffer time, which will benefit even though you know you won't like in case you don't have this under control so you have that 30 minutes as buffer in order to review your questions in order to uh, accommodate in case you are not able to fulfill this if the questions turn out to be very very lengthy uh, you know you have to utilize every minute now the good part about need is even the questions which are being marked for review will be counted unlike INICT or AIMS wherein they are not counted as the ultimate marked questions here even if you mark for review it will be counted so in case you know you struggle for time and you don't really have that half an hour to review you use it up entirely for solving the paper you know mark for review the questions all right so only mark the questions which you are sure you know which you want them to be counted so mark for review very very certainly and the question that you want to leave that you are not able to rule out these are the questions i don't want to attend do not even mark for review that will show as a separate column you know in your exam so that will show up as questions which have been unattempted all right so here you have to be very careful of two kinds of questions, questions which are unattempted which you would want in an eventual setting in case you don't have that buffer time and the questions that you have marked for review which will be counted. So that review while marking you have to be very careful that you are actually marking the choice that you know you are leading on to or you are leaning up to that this is the likely answer that I want to mark. This is my first gut instinct and I don't want to leave this question. So be very careful with this. So 70, 70, 60. This would be my practice for all of these 10 grand tests which have been planned for you and any other grand test that you might attempt. Always try to uh, strive for this and again we have a buffer to account for it. Right. Apart from that, the other takeaways from the questions and from the solution, what do you have to focus on? First is you have to make sure that you're getting the must know topics and repeats correct. So in all grand tests, remember, it will always be a mix of 
very bad question, which are which seem like crazy question. Why is this even asked? Questions on syndromes, questions on genes, which are impossible to answer. And then there are certain questions which are direct repeats, which are from must know topics. So you have to identify where you're going wrong when you are analyzing your solution. You have to make sure that these are under control. If you have made a mistake in this, you have to make sure 100% you are writing it on a piece of paper, you are making it go into your brain and you are not making that mistake again. Right. So this is the first very important thing. Things that you learn, particularly new concepts and not just new facts. Right. These you have to again, if concepts you have to understand them right away and get it done with now there's no point of making a new notebook of gts and then going back to it because you won't have time to go back to it so don't make that mistake of making now picking up a new notebook and writing points because you'll never have time to read that book all right and you'll be wasting a lot of time in writing those points all right so whatever is the concept do it then and there if you think you want to revise just write it on a piece of paper go back to it the next day and get it done with. So concepts go into your long term memory, it's understanding. Facts, you can add it to your choti copy or any 20th notebook that you have for your volatile stuff. If you feel that fact is worthy of that last minute revision, if that fact is really important, otherwise just read it once and trust your mind that if the same question does come up in the exam day, that crazy question with a new fact, you will remember, you will have some sort of semblance to the option and you will be able to mark it. And again, analyze your weaknesses. If there are some glaring weak topics, like you pick out that this is one topic I'm just not getting any question right from and that's recurring in every test that I'm attempting. You have to master that question. You have to go back to a video. You have to understand it and you have to master it then and there, that day itself. All right. So for this, I would say try to be as quick as possible as far as the analysis goes. So once you are giving and investing three and a half hours of your life into giving the test very diligently, very focused manner, you would need a break of an hour. After that, I would say give up to three to four hours. I've talked to a lot of toppers of INICT after the exam and this is something which was in common, right? All of them used to review the GTs very quickly. All right. So give yourself three to four hours on the same day itself. Do not stretch it. Over the week, unless there are solutions that you want to read and topics that you want to practice, write them on a piece of paper all right, or bookmark those questions and come back to them. But do not uh, stretch the review over a very long time. Just get it done with very quickly because now we are in the pointy end of your exam. If you were in an earlier stage, you would have given it a lot, lot more time. But now we don't have that luxury of time. You have a lot of other revisions which are to be done. Right. So this is basically uh, my message to you as far as GTs go. So these are the main focus areas. Remember the 70, 70, 60 rule. Apply it 10 times over. You apply it. It goes. It goes and it works like a machine on the exam day. All right. So that is the whole point of giving the grand test, giving the mock test. So do not give it for the sake of it. That's the ultimate message. You have to take value out of it. You have to practice your time management. You have to bring your mind under control. That is the importance of giving all of these tests before the actual exam. You know, So treat them like the actual exam. Just fool yourself that these are the actual exam that I'm giving. I know it's easier said than done, but just try. All right, such that it takes away some sort of stress from that exam. All right, so uh, just to quickly orient you about the plus subscription, lots of new things which are happening on plus subscription. There are there's a, a newly updated question bank for all the plus subscribers. Plus, you get access to live and recorded classes like always on the platform, where again you can study on the device of your choice, and you have raised the hand feature where you can talk to the educator, get your doubts cleared in real time, and this is the question bank, so you can compete in the live test. And you will also be getting printed notes very, very soon. So there's also something new which has been launched by the app. So these are the various courses. So all you people who are neat PG aspirants, some very, very exciting courses are ongoing. One is this ultra fast track high revision batch, which is just bullet points. All right. So this is very interesting where you'll be revising in the form of flashcards all the subjects very, very quickly. So this is for that final boost for people who feel that they need that final uh, push and that final preparation round for all the subjects very very quickly and you can align your schedule with this and you can align your preparation of notes with this and mcqs with this it'll be great apart from that last three years neat pg pyq badge is also there there's a badge on covid which is obviously something which you have to master before stepping into the exam room 
so is the emergency room this is something which is going to be very very helpful to all the students because emergency as you know it constitute a very big chunk of your examination and you also have a test in discussion batch which is already ongoing where you write the test in the morning subject wise and that is discussed in the evening apart from that we have the grand test series so all of these are things which are ongoing and uh, are very attractive for all the plus subscribers apart from that you always have the free special classes that you can check out on the app where you can uh, have you have various mcqs uh, polls on the leaderboard which are going on we also have started the raise a hand feature and you always get the pdf after the class is over all right so this is it that i had to tell you guys and inform you guys on behalf of an academy and i hope um, you guys make the best of it so all the best and see you all soon